Hello there everybody! Today we start our new series about creating a game. We want to show you how to create our game Catch Every Fruit from scratch. So let's jump right in by creating a new project in Unity Hub. For your information, we are currently using Unity 2020.3. We create a 2D game. So I choose 2D from the templates, give my project the right location and the name Catch Every Fruit. I can now click on Create to let Unity create some basic stuff for our game. And don't worry, that might take some time. When everything is finished, we now see the Unity editor. I recommend watching our video How to start with Unity to get the basics of the editor. I put a link of that in the description. We start now by creating a folder for our images. I made a sprite sheet of some fruits with Affinity Photo, but you can use GIMP or any other graphic tool as you like. I can easily import that by opening my Windows Explorer in a second window and just drag and drop the PNG file to the folder. You see that there are different fruits in one image file. So we have to tell Unity how many fruits are there and where the fruits are. For this we have to set the sprite mode to multiple and then go to the sprite editor. In this editor we can slice the sprite sheet into multiple objects by dragging squares around them. Try to keep the squares near the objects, but keep a little space so nothing is gonna missing. So now we have different sprite elements we can use in our game. But before we add them, let's just set our game to our future resolution. I set the resolution to iPhone XR, because that's my target object. You can use multiple game resolutions presets to test your game on different device resolutions. Now. I can go back to my scene view and start dragging the fruits into my scene. As you can see, they are quite a bit big for my camera, so I can mark them all and make them a bit smaller. When you change the size, always press the shift key to avoid stretching. I think this will do it for now. We can change the name in the hierarchy by pressing F2. I just do that for every object. We want to use these fruits later. so we can save them as prefabs. For this, I create a folder prefabs and simply drag the objects into this folder. The next step will be to tell the fruits that they have to fall down. For this, we need a C-sharp script. So again, create a folder for the scripts and a subfolder for fruits. In this folder, we can create our C-sharp script. I keep it simple and name it fruit. When I double click the script, the editor will open up. For me, it's Visual Studio. First thing we can do is delete the start method. We don't need this at the moment. We use the update method to move the fruit every frame. As we want the fruit to move down, I add a method called move down. This method doesn't exist yet, but I can tell my editor to do that for me using the quick fixes. You can move an object by changing the transform.position. I calculate the new position by using vector3.movetowards. This method needs the actual position of our game object and a target position and a step to tell how fast it should move. For the actual position, I simply pass transform.position. For the target and the step, I will create two new variables in a moment but I can pass them for the time being. Our target must be a vector3. I create this as a global variable here. The target should be filled in the awake method, because this is the first method Unity calls when the game object is created. So we can first set the target to the transform.position and then change the y variable to something like minus 20. Again, you can use a quick fix to make the minus 20 to a global constant by marking it and click on create global constant. I call this constant target y. It's also not very common to use calculations and other code directly in awake and update. So I can mark the code and extract it to a new method, which I call reset. The target is finished now. Awesome. Now we can create a variable step. This variable can be a local variable in our move method. For this, 
I create a float step. The step is a calculation from a speed and time dot delta time. Back in the Unity editor, we have to attach the script to our prefabs. We can do that by marking them in the hierarchy, or we can go to the prefab folder and mark every prefab. After that, you have to drag and drop the script to the inspector. Now we can first enter the play mode to see what we have done so far. Awesome! The fruits are falling down. A bit slow for the moment, but we can easily fix that. And another cool thing. Doesn't matter where the fruit starts, they always fall straight and with the same speed. So to fix the speed, I go back to my move method and change the value from my step from 1 to 3. I think that's enough for the time being. And it's also enough for the first episode. I hope you learned something new today. Subscribe to watch the full series and I'm sure I see you in the next.